In this video, we'll show you how to use the various workout options on your Forerunner 310. And all you need to do is to go to your uh, menu. You can hit mode to get to this screen. Go into training, hit enter, and choose workout. Once in here, we have a couple options. We have interval. And if we go in here, we can do a different type of interval workout, distance or time. And then you can choose the length. If you want a rest break by time or by distance again. And you get your rest time right here. More. How many reps you want to do. And if you want to include a warm up or a cool down. And just uh, when you select the warm up or cool down, you simply need to tap on the lap button for that. And once you have your interval set up, you can just hit enter. Now you're ready to start your workout. So let's say you're outside, you're ready to go. Just hit on your start, and you're starting. And once you're stop, hit the stop button, and you're done. Hit lap, hold it for three seconds to keep, keep the activity into history. And that's it, that's pretty much how you do the interval workout. Now if you want to do something more crazy, or more complex, by adding heart rate to it, you may want to look at the custom workout. Now there's two ways you can do the custom workout. You can do the custom workout on the unit itself or on the computer by using uh, Garmin Training Center. But we'll take a quick look here at uh, custom and you can see I already have a number of workouts here and these are all workouts that I've created on uh, Garmin uh, Training Center. However, uh, let's say I want to create a, uh, a new workout. I can just simply go down to new here or if I want to scroll through the list and I hit enter and I get a couple of options do workout edit workout or delete workout now let's uh, go into new create a brand new workout I want to do mile repeats so here we go into create our new one it automatically names the work the workout uh, numerically so run zero 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 first thing here we have our first step in our workout we hit enter to edit. We want to edit the step. And we want to set this up as a timed uh, step. So we'll just do it for, uh, let's say, 10 minutes. So we'll just scroll down here. And that's it. That's nice. 10 minutes. Done. If we are using heart rate, we want to go down to the target and select. Uh, heart rate or speed or cadence or power but probably the typical user would probably want to choose heart rate and from here you can set your zone now if you've transferred your profile down here automatically all you need to do now is just set the zone you want to do like zone 3 for a typical uh, steady or, or long slow distance run uh, if not you can go into the, the settings and, and customize the zones for you but this is fine like this and once you're done just hit mode to go back like that and let's say we want to add a, a walk break so we just selected add a new step and again we're just gonna select time and we're just gonna select one minute in this instance one minute done there's no target you know we're not using anything because it's a walk break so there you go hit mode here's our two steps now I want to mark this step as a rest step this walk break but this means it doesn't necessarily count the uh, uh, the distance um, for your workout now what we want to do is to add one more step which is to uh, repeat go back to step one so what we want to do is we want to create three laps of this workout. So we're just going to go down to three, edit three. And once that's done, make sure we go back to done. And we indicate which step we want to go back to. So we want to go back to the top, step one. That's what we want to do. And there you go. So now we have a custom work heart rate workout where we run for three minutes in zone three and we have a one minute walk break and then we repeat that three times and once you're ready to go you just hit mode again go through your list there's our run 
ready to do workout. And there you go, same process as the other uh, method. Hit start to start, and start again to stop. Hold down lap to reset, save it into history. And that's how you do workouts on the Garmin Forerunner 310.